The wind across the pair of Drummer Boy and without exception, along with Dwight Chance, Chase the Great, takes center stage in our build-up to the fourth running of the BGLC Diamond Mile, which takes place at Caymanas Park this Saturday. 17-time champion trainer Wayne Da Costa looks set to win his fourth consecutive Diamond Mile title as the Wiley Conditioner will have seven runners in the 16-horse field. Of the seven, last year's winner, She's a Man Eater, without exception, and Drummer Boy are his most fancied candidates. Without exception, the full brother to She's a Man Eater caught the eyes of the punters after winning the SVREL Invitational Mile on Super Stakes Day, posting an impressive 1 minute 37-1 and winning by five lengths with Javanil Pattison aboard. On Sunday morning, his final gallop at five and a half furlongs was clocked at one minute six and two fifths, which was quite pleasing to the Costa. He definitely blew me at the right time. Um, he worked this morning, he worked one six and two, very comfortable. So I'm expecting a good ex exceptional run from him. He'll be close to the pace and anywhere the leader stop, he'll be taking it over and then they have to catch him if they can. The three-year-old Bay Colt Drummer Boy, who won the Governor's Cup, remains winless from four stars since that victory. In his Sunday morning exercise gallop, he posted 1 minute 14 flat for six furlongs, beating stablemate Perfect Neighbor. Da Costa believes the classic campaigner who led for seven furlongs in the Super Stakes could be the dark horse in the field. He's also another one who is improving. He and without exception are not far apart. I mean, although I, without exception, probably, probably has a little more tactical speed than he. I think he stays a little better than without exception. So he'll be in mid-pack and trying for a later on. Meanwhile, the Dwight Chen trained Chase the Great, who will be making his third appearance in the ultra-rich event, will be at the top of the handicap after winning two grade one races. The five-year-old Chestnut Gelding finished fourth in the Gold Cup behind Will in Charge and She's a Man Eater. And now he'll be up against the boat going a mile, a distance he has never won at. Despite facing an uphill battle, Chen is making sure that Chase the Great will be going into the race razor sharp after galloping seven furlongs in 128 flat. He's fit already, he doesn't need more than just maintenance gallops actually and a little longer a long and slow work to try and get him to get a mile because he has not won anything over six furlongs. It's now left to be seen if any trainer can break the Costa's stranglehold on the richest race in the English-speaking Caribbean.